A man deceives a girl and takes him into the woods. He forcibly removed his high-heeled shoes, and the girl was powerless to resist in the face of his savagery. He violated him, and despite the timely appearance of the girl's father, he was unable to prevent it. The abuser had fled on his motorcycle, leaving only the girl's cold body behind. The father didn't care what happened to his daughter, choosing instead to drive after him, running the man right over. The man thought it was just an accident, not realizing that a brutal revenge was creeping in. Jake pulls out a tranquilizer gun, knocks the man to the ground, and then imprisons him in a cave with chains for seven full days and seven nights, giving him no food, only a tub of foot washing water, and a cool shower every day with a high pressure water gun. Even so, Jake was still angry and took out his razor to shave the man again. The man is suddenly at a loss, not knowing what he is about to face. However, Jake surprises him by taking out a handkerchief, mesmerizing him and carrying him into an operating room full of medical equipment. After quickly immobilizing the man's body, Jake immediately summoned several orthopedic medical specialists and began remodeling his lower body. After several hours of treatment, the man awoke from his coma. Noticing the disappearance of his reproductive organs, he realizes that he has been transformed into a woman. However, this did not fulfill Jake's goal. He prepares different sized dilators for the man and orders him to use them every day to repair the physical damage. Nonetheless, the man's pain was not eliminated. Over the next few days, Jake performed several surgeries on him, successfully changing his appearance and voice. The only concern was the fragility of the grafted skin, but Jake wasn't worried because he customized a corset for the man. The man looks at himself in the mirror and can't accept the reality. As Jake helps him with a zipper, he suddenly attacks, kicking Jake to the ground, and then desperately running towards the door. However, Jake surprisingly switched to a remote control device. Seeing no way out, the man decides to threaten Jake with his life to open the door. But Jake isn't convinced he'll be so impulsive. The man immediately wipes his neck, but Jake isn't afraid. He immediately carries the man into the operating room and uses his superior medical skills to stitch up the wound one by one, successfully pulling the man back from the brink of death. And Jake made a bold decision right away to prevent him from committing suicide again. He prepared various dresses for him, but Mary adamantly refused. He tears all the dresses into rags and cleans them off with a vacuum cleaner. However, the doctor doesn't give up and brings in a few more maintenance books and a bunch of cosmetics, as well as changing the TV to a women's yoga channel in the hope that it will become a real woman. Mary wasn't interested in any of this. He just picked up his eyebrow pencil and wrote on the wall, always reminding himself that he was a man. However, over time, Mary's personality changed dramatically. Not only did he practice the yoga poses to perfection, but he also wrote the essentials of the poses all over the walls and wore beautiful dresses to dress himself up. Everything he did was watched by Jake behind the monitor. Looking at Mary's dimpled figure and charming features, Jake could not calm down inside. Six months later, he opened the door of the secret room for the first time. However, Mary took more initiative than it did and put forward the request of wanting to live with him. Although Jake also intends to do so, he decides to test Mary first. Therefore, he specially hired a nanny to keep an eye on him. However, accidents always happen suddenly. One day, when Jake went to work, there was an unexpected guest in the house, the nanny's son. In addition to being an idler all day long, he also has a penchant for selling drugs and coveting sex. His mother urges him to leave after dinner, but as he is about to leave, he is unexpectedly captivated by the woman on surveillance. Coincidentally, Mary is having a yoga workout. His hot body makes the man's heart go wild, sticking out his greedy tongue at the screen. Meanwhile, Mary in the secret room becomes tense when she hears a noise and seems to realize something bad. A big man carried the girl into the room and forced himself on him. When Jake comes home from work, he is surprised to find his nanny tied to a stool. He immediately feels bad and quickly grabs his gun and rushes into the bedroom. He sees the desperate look in Mary's eyes and can't stand it. So, without hesitation, he shot and finished the man. After this incident, Jake blamed himself for not protecting Mary. He not only releases Mary from the confinement, but also lies in bed with him, and even allows him to move freely in the villa. However, one day, Mary learns a shocking secret from the nanny. Jake's wife had been in a car accident that unfortunately burned the skin all over her body. Unable to accept her ugly appearance, she chose to jump to her death. Mary's current appearance was remodeled by Jake in his wife's likeness. Upon hearing this news, Mary instantly realizes that he is a substitute. However, he did not develop hatred towards Jake. Until the next day, Mary inadvertently saw the search notice published in the newspaper, on which was a handsome photo of himself before his sex change. It didn't occur to him that his mother had been looking for him all these years. So, at night, while she was making love to Jake, she purposely used the excuse of going to the bathroom to come downstairs to get Jake's pistol. Jake was still under the covers, unaware that he was about to be judged for his sins. He was just about to speak when Lisa Coley shot him in the chest, the sound of the gunshot alerting the babysitter. She grabs the pistol and decides to go upstairs to check it out, but is unexpectedly surprised by Lisa, who is hiding under the bed and collapses on the spot, not breathing. Lisa is panicked to dispose of the body, and she flees the murder scene in a hurry. 
Before dawn, she finally returns to her fashion store. Mary scrutinizes everything in the store, feeling both strange and familiar. However, when he saw his old mother and sister, Mary's eyes filled with tears. But since he was now in a daughter's body, the other couldn't recognize him at all. Fortunately, after some explanation and confirmation, they finally recognized each other. Mary was successfully reunited with her family.